so my motor mounts arrived the other day. Um, as you can see, I only have three clamshells. It's not a big deal. These two are a matching pair. This is what I'm going to use for my station wagon. Uh, this is a larger one, which you would find in your old square body truck, uh, old 88 through 98 Silverado. And I believe the motor mounts are pretty much the same. There might be a couple subtle differences in height. But for the motor mounts themselves, for car application, make sure you're getting the motor mount for the car. The adapter plates came from ICT Billet. They're $25 on eBay. I'll get you the part number here. They come with all the hardware. You know, you got... Uh, your metric fasteners that'll these go to the engine block where they where they're recessed, they're beveled in. So your driver side and your passenger side. I like to use the one inch setback position. That way you're not messing with your transmission position. The one inch setback is the far forward holes. That's it. I simply, obviously I have the stand in place, but you can see where the bolt holes are. Easy peasy. The difference between the truck style clamshell and the car style is from the base up. It's two and a half inches from the center of the hole to the back of the plate. And on the truck, they're two and three quarter. I tried using truck mounts in a car. They don't work. It's a pretty easy setup. A lot of these, I mean, they must have made different variations over the years because some of the car mounts, the backs were, these might be reproduction. Because a lot of times they were, this bevel here was pushed outward and you have to grind them flat to make them work with the mounts. That's what these, these holes are for. <clears throat> but yeah, these might be reproduction pieces. Hard to say. But that's what I'm using for the motor mounts. It's real simple. If your vehicle already has a small block Chevy in it, you already have what you need. You already have your cushion motor mount if you want to change them because yours are probably trash. You get a polyurethane mount by all means. Just use your stock clams and use the $25 adapter plates. It's easy. Or unless you know you're feeling feeling pretty froggy you can make your own mounts. It's not very hard to get them in the car. For 25 bucks you can get an LS engine in a vehicle that already had a small block Chevy to begin with. So these are the mounts I'm using. And if you're cost conscious, I recommend you use them too. You have different suppliers, different vendors out there like Dirty Dingo, Holly, um, you know, besides ICT Billet, several other uh, small, I don't want to say no name, but, you know, no name, uh, local pr producers, you'll find them on eBay, they make them, even you get Chinese reproductions, but for the cost, for 20, 25 bucks. So that's what I'm using for this bad boy. Owed you guys a little bit of an update. I'm off tomorrow. It's supposed to be about 40 degrees here in Northeast Ohio. Uh, I think tomorrow's going to be the day I want to fire this pig up. I know, I've been dragging my feet. I've been working a lot, so... <clears throat> Might as well get it done. Make sure she runs. Make sure she runs strong. and Get ready to toss it in here in the next month or so. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you real soon. Please like and subscribe. And uh, have a good day.